What's up my immune friends, this is KG48 and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. And we have been doing a lot of work out and about in the world. We've done looting, we've shot randits, we've we've gotten survivors. And I think it's time that we start putting our, our home in order here, right? Because we got stuff all over the freaking place. This is, a, this is an absolute mess, an absolute travesty of a mess. The thing is I wanted Scott before I really started uh, building up here because I'm going to eventually want him to cut down trees uh, so I can make walls. Now, the walls are super duper expensive, especially when it comes to the wood required. You need, you need 12 logs and 8 wood for each wall. That's just insane, right? Um, so we're going to need him for that. Now, I'm going to have to plan out how I want to deal with this. So I think what I'm going to do is, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a wall right here. All right, because I'm not going to have a wall going around the entire base. All right, it's just more than I need. So I'm going to put a wall right here to kind of close this area off. Um, how is that going to work? I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, something in a wall with a ladder. And hey, what's going on? Yeah, I'm thinking like right there. Although it's going to be inside the buildings, which I hate. Um, yeah, that see the log, see that log right there in front of me. That's going to be inside the other building, which is going to kind of suck. But I don't really see a better way. Well, you know what? It's pretty good right there. It doesn't line up exactly perfectly, but I think it's better like that than any other way. Well, let's just go ahead and put it down. Seems like a good spot. All right, so let's see what it's going to look like. Yeah, see, it's going to come... Oh, well, oh, I don't know if it's actually going to come through there. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's one. I might actually build that today. I, I didn't plan on building that today, but I might actually build that today. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chicken coop Right? Uh, actually, it's right here. And I'm going to put that... Oh, come on, Cage. Get your head in the game, bro. I'm going to put that right here. Right? Probably up against the wall. Like so. You know, something like that. Alright? Then I'm going to um, put a fence right here. And that's going to be the entire place for the chicken. The chicken's going to be able to hang out in there. It's going to be his spot. And I will leave him alone. Then the wall is going to start right here properly. And come all the way around here. Maybe even... Yeah, come all the way around here. Come this way. Alright, through here. Right? And then all the way around here. Like this. Like this. Boom, boom, boom. Right here. This is going to be a farm. A garden. Uh, now, the garden really isn't good for anything. It kind of sucks. But I'm going to make it because it's part of the game. And, you know, whatever. Um, I'm just letting you know. It's not, it wasn't that good last season. I don't know if he's fixed it. But we'll find out. Right? And that's what I'm looking at there. So, garden right here. I'm not really sure where I'm put out here. I guess I'll just leave this open for vehicles and stuff. Um, that's where the chicken will hang out. I've, I've still got to put fencing around this thing to make it look proper. And, yeah, that's what we're looking at. All right? Now, inside, I've got some plans as well. By the way, she looks badass hanging out. Too bad she's inside of a drying rack. Um, we should probably have a better spot for that drying rack. Well, this stuff's mostly going to be moved inside. Um, oh, actually... I don't think I want to put a campfire and stand inside. I was going to make this the kitchen, right? Um, but I don't really like the idea of um, of the campfire inside. So I don't I don't know. I wish we could make a stove. Anyway, this is definitely going to be the crafting room. This is going to be just a big old crafting room. What's up, Scott? Um, up here is going to be... I don't know what this is going to be. Probably miscellaneous storage. This is obviously going to be my bedroom. And I would put a bed down here and let the survivors, like, stay in there. Like, assign them to that room. But I don't think they're going to lay in the beds. I'll eventually try it. But from what I understand, they don't actually lay in the beds just yet. All right. And that's what we're looking at. Um, I do want an armory. Ooh, maybe I'll make that. Maybe I'll, I'll make this my armory. That could be pretty cool. Or I could, yeah, right across, right across my bedroom. Armory. I like that. And then I'll put other storage in this room. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that'll work just fine. All right, so am I going to leave the campfire outside? This this area is cool for what it was, but it's a little bit, you know, restrained. I don't want this drying rack here anymore, um, but I don't know where I want to put it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the campfire, guys. Uh, a campfire makes zero sense inside. I, I'm really going to have a hard time putting a campfire inside. So I don't know what to do with that. I'm going to think about it. I might just say screw it and put it inside anyway, but... It's just dumb because you have a campfire sitting on a wood floor inside a building with no ventilation. That just doesn't seem like it's going to work. All right, this is going to make the base a little bit bigger than intended. But I think we're going to put down one of these big old freaking uh, buildings here. Hunting Cabin B. Oh, I don't... Wait, do I like Hunting Cabin B or Hunting Cabin C? No, I like B. No, I like B. Yeah, B's the one I like for sure. 
All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make Hunting Cabin B. Now, I'm going to put the campfire inside Hunting Cabin B. I'll probably call it Cage's Cheat Day Cafe again, build that up uh, like I did last season. Um, the thing is, I don't mind the campfire being in a hunting cabin. I just don't think it looks the same. It doesn't look as good, you know, in a house. Uh, maybe that's splitting hairs. Maybe you think, well, if it doesn't go in a house, it doesn't go in a hunting cabin. I get it, and you're right. I don't know. For me personally, I just think that works better. And then over here will be the farm, and it'll be right by the um, uh, cheat, cheat Day Cafe, which is basically going to be my, um, my kitchen, right? All right, so if that's going to be the kitchen, um, this could be... I don't know what this is going to be. Um... Kind of like a, a storage room. Maybe we could divide, you know, this stuff up. Uh, these All these water things will be going into the Cage's Cheat Day Cafe. As a matter of fact, maybe we should just make that right now. Do we have enough food? See, I don't think we have the food um, to be able to do that. I can go kill a, a bear, you know, relatively quickly. But, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to have the food. Because th this thing's going to take, like, I don't know, like four days or something. 96 hours. So, yeah, that's going to take a while. Um, and I'm pretty sure I don't have the food that it would take... Yeah, definitely don't have... The, as a matter of fact, this is already gone. All right, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to store everything, and then we're going to go kill a bear, get a bunch of food, and then I think we're going to make um, Cage's Cheat Day Cafe. I think that would be uh, pretty sweet. So I'm going to need a knife for the bear. I got a knife right there. And then I'm just going to kind of throw the stuff on the ground because I don't want to deal with it right now. There we go. I don't know what else I would need for the bear. Nothing else. Just a spear. And we're going to go out and kill that bear and get his giblets. And it's going to be awesome. And uh, we'll also be able to start saving up some uh, biofuel uh, for when we do get some lights up. Because I'm going to want to, like, do stuff during the night. Um, oh, boy. Whenever you get in the truck, save the damn game first. Um, <laughs> someone was telling me in, di in uh, uh, my comment section. Where was the Discord? I think it was my comment section. They were like, yeah, I flipped, like, three cars already and it sucks. I got to keep finding new cars and new trucks. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, there's a jack you can make. You can make a jack. And they were like, oh, they didn't even know. So that's freaking awesome. So they're going to make the jack and they're going to go grab some of their vehicles. So that will be sweet. Um, I think what I'll do is, if I remember, when I go back home, I will uh, show you where you can make the jack in case anybody doesn't know. I think it's just in the crafting table. Honestly, I don't really know. <laughs> um, is it just straight up in here? I don't think it's in here. I think it's in a crafting table. Yeah, it's in a crafting table. While I'm here, why don't we go ahead and grab this gear should be grabbing this gear every single day, man. It's going to save you so many resources. and any gears for, like, everything that's important. I'm going to need six gears just for the damn generator. Like, that's no joke, bro. You know? That is no freaking joke. All right, where is this bear? Basically, what you do is you get the bear's attention, you jump somewhere where he can't get you, and you stab him to death. Uh, where is he? I don't see him anywhere. That makes me nervous when I don't see him. So, he might be inside that building, actually. Sometimes he's inside the building. Where's this ass clown? Alright, let's take out my shoddy just in case he, um, he surprises me. Check in the building. No, nope, not in the building. Oh, I saw some MREs. I've never looted this. Alright, we'll have to loot this later. I'm not gonna... That's gonna be a whole video. Okay. Um, oh boy. Making me a little nervous now that maybe he's not coming back. If he doesn't come back, well, I might be in trouble. I might not. There's other places I can go to get bears. This is just the, the closest one. But if he doesn't come back, who's to say any of them will ever come back? You know, I've been over here a few times. I don't remember seeing him recently. It's kind of making me nervous. All right, I finally see him. Thank goodness. By the way, there's loot in this truck. Come on, get up on the damn truck, man. Uh, alright. Here, let's just put this in here. We'll come back for this later. Or maybe we'll take it today. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, stupid bear. Come at me, bro. Now, is he gonna come at me or what? Doesn't look like he's gonna come at me. Let's get his attention. Hey. Oh, he sees me now. Oh, boy. Alright. Stabby, stabby! Debbie, right in your stupid face. Come on, man. There you go. Right in his eye. Here's a spear in your eye. The spear takes like a million shots, by the way. I wonder if you get more damage by hitting him in the head. I have a feeling you don't. It's a bear! You see the little text whenever he's close? 
It's a bear! <laughs> Exclamation point. <laughs> That's hilarious. Down he goes. Beautiful. Now let's gut him. Butcher, you get to choose which tool you use. I use using the knife because it's the best. I definitely want the animal fat and I will leave everything else. Well, yeah, let's grab this stuff. We might actually... Oh, you know what? It goes bad, though. If I need this stuff, I'll come back and get it when I need it. Because um, everything in this game goes bad. Guts, everything. I guess you could dry it. Yeah, I could dry it. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll grab it. We'll see how much uh, inventory space I have. All right. That is not looking good with the food, but that's okay. I think we'll be fine. Okay. And grab you. Oh, God. Two hours. All right. Oh, I don't have any food with me. Eh, we should be all right. Three hours? Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, three. Oh, we're not going to have room for all this stuff. All right, we can gather three items. So let's do that. There we go. Three items. Hour and, hour and 40 minutes. Should be okay. Boy, I butchered this one hardcore, guys. Oh, my God. So many mistakes. So many mistakes. Okay, number one mistake I made was I put food on the grill. And then I was thinking, oh, sure. I, I got 20 minutes, right? So I'm going to make some dried meat. You know, because I got the 20 minutes, because why not? Right? And as I was making the dry meat, I watched the meat on the grill turn brown. So that means it was well done. So I had to cancel, you know, um, the drying process, which means I lost the salt. And I only got one, like, piece of dried meat out of the four I was supposed to get from the big animal meat. Pretty, pretty, pretty horrible mistake right there. But I made a worse mistake. And this is the one you guys need to be aware of. When you are making dry meat, it will use your cooked meat, which I think is dumb and should be changed. Um, but yeah, it will use your cooked meat. So what I did was I had like seven pieces of meat. I cooked up a few. I left the others raw and I started making dry meat and it used the cooked meat, which was just a big freaking waste of time. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I ended up getting four dry meat out of it. I got two on me. So we're still looking pretty good. Um, we need to build this damn thing. So what we're going to need now is we're going to need a lot of nails, I believe. Um, so, oh, maybe not. Got a pretty decent amount of nails here. Uh, should we have Scott cut down trees now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Scott, hold on. I got to get a, uh, I got to get an axe for you. Um, weapons do not degrade when Scott uses them. So you give him the crappiest axe you can. Uh, status inventory. Give him an axe. And talk. Oh, no, 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 not talk. That's not what we want to do. We want to assign work. All right. Cut, <laughs> assign work. Cut down trees uh, for as many hours as you can. Uh, don't pick up the logs. Maybe pick up the logs. Should we have him pick up the logs? Let's have him pick up the logs and the leaves. And leave the stumps. Why are we going to leave the stumps? Do they grow back if we leave the stumps? I don't know. Uh, we're going to pick up everything and abort if inventory is full. And now we have to let him out of the house. There you go, buddy. I don't know how good his pathing is. It doesn't look like it's too... Wait, what? Where is that tree? Is he... I'm not sure what's going on here. I have a feeling he's going to like... Yeah, look at that. He's cutting the tree from over there. Man, Scott is magical. Scott is one magical tree cutter. Let me tell you. Oh, we're getting a lot of sticks too. God darn it. How do we get sticks? You guys said the sledgehammer gets you leaves, the knife gets you um, bark, but how do we get sticks? I don't know. All right, not really that big of a deal, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and save. And I guess let's just uh, grab a hammer and start building. 96 hours, man. I want to get that done today. I think that's going to be what today's video is going to be about. Uh, we'll grab this hammer. So is he cutting down all those trees from inside? Hold on, let's see what's going on out here. I'm kind of curious. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, um, this guy's magical, dude. This guy's magical. I wonder if you could pick the stuff up. I don't know. I'm gonna pick all the stuff up, though. I don't think he can, because he's inside. Now, every, all the other trees might be too far away. So, uh, I guess not. Yeah, that guy's legit. Scott is a legit badass. So we're going to need a lot of um, planks as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll get What's-Her-Face going on some planks. She's just standing there doing, doing fuck all. <laughs> oh, so this is going to be inside. But that's okay. If it's a little bit inside. I really don't mind that much. Um, oh, we still have a lot of planks, don't we? Well, I know we're going to need more. So just make planks. The hell with it. Assign work. 
Rachel, even though she looks like Kate. Grab as much of that as we can. And let's get this underway. Save the game. Sometimes when you're building these things, a mist could come upon you. You know, when you're not ready. So, um, build time. Build time. Build time. There's a certain spot. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's do it. Oh my god. This is going to take forever. It's not even like um, that it's going to take a long time in itself. It's it, or I'm sorry. It's not even like it's going to take a long time to gather the resources. It's going to take a long time just to build it. So, it's the only thing I don't like about building these. Now, we can be attacked during the night. So, there's a way I could build during the night. So, what we're going to do is, they could destroy these though, right? Let's just park the truck next to it. Now, now I don't want to I don't want to jeopardize the truck. Let's put one of these next to it and see if we can build while standing on this. So we could build during the night without having to worry about any infected messing with us. Eh, you never know. Let's give it a shot. I'm just going to let my hunger and thirst go down. I will lose health. And I'll just wait until the last minute to eat and drink. Actually, I should probably drink when I can. But, eh, whatever. I'm in the zone. My guy's in the zone. He's in the building zone. Okay. I don't, even, I don't even see any infected in the area. Now, you might be saying, well, Cade, build the walls first, and then you can build on the inside without worrying about it. Yeah, true. Um, the problem is, I don't know where I want the walls to be, and to build the walls first, and then and then hope you left enough space for what you want to build inside, is very risky. So, I prefer to build everything inside, then build the walls around it. You have much more control that way. All right, we're about to go through the second night. We're down to 68 hours left. Uh, I, there was actually, there was no infected during the night, as you guys saw, but I did get a, um, a mist during the day and the infected ran around right, right below my feet, never attacked me, never attacked the building, never attacked what I'm standing on. So as far as I can tell, I could probably just build from this, you know, until I run out of materials, go grab some more materials and then continue. And I usually let my hunger and thirst go down and I let my health get down to about half and then I eat. And then my health goes back up to full before I get hungry and thirsty again. As a matter of fact, I could probably let my health go down even more than half, but I don't want, like, an infected to get a lucky hit and kill me, like, you know, because I let my, my health get down too much. So that's what we're looking at now. I want to definitely want to get this thing built today. And uh, maybe even move some of my, uh, you know, some of my food stuff in here. We're going to have food. We're going to have water. Um, I'm going to move everything in here that has to do with either. And uh, probably some storage containers as well. This is going. This is basically going to be my. Um, this is basically going to be my kitchen. The Cage's Cheat Day Cafe. Hell yeah! All right, we're down to 48 hours left. Two more days. Oh yeah, Scott's been going to town. Oh look at this infected. Ooh, you actually have something on you. It's weird. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. I think when you don't kill them, they're not supposed to have anything on them. So it's kind of odd that they do. But I'll take it. I will take it. So it doesn't look like Scott gets any bark out of the trees, which isn't really a big deal. Uh, what I really needed from him more than anything is the sticks. Because we need a lot of sticks. I can get bark, and I can get leaves other ways. Uh, is this the one I looted? Nope. I don't need cloth. Uh, did I loot this one? Oh, I will take that. We definitely need circuit boards. Definitely need circuit boards. Oh, this is great. This is so cool, man. I just got freaking chopped this whole freaking forest down without leaving the house. He's a he's a monster. This guy's he's got some it's like freaking having Harry Potter chopping down trees for you with his freaking magic. With his devil magic. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get back to work, shall we? Alright, guys, bright and early in the morning, and it is complete. Check it out. It's actually in a good spot too. I really like where I put it. Um, yeah, this thing worked like a charm, by the way. <laughs> um, when I was standing on top, I don't think you guys saw that. No, I didn't show you that. When I was standing on top of this one, um, one of the, uh, infected actually was able to hit me. So I stacked them and then they didn't even come around after that. All right. So let's take a look at this place, man. Yeah, this is a, this is my favorite building by far, by far. Um, this is where I will put the water supply. Um, I'll put the, uh, uh, the campfire right here. Um, well, I guess we could just do that right now. Uh, campfire, where are you? Probably under the campfire thing. <laughs> Who, who'd have thought, right? Alright, so place you. And we do have some sticks, that's wonderful. 
Uh, you can't move campfires, but you can move everything else associated with it. So, I'm gonna, um, actually, let's go in here. Let's take all this stuff out of here, just in case something weird goes on. All right, there we go. Let me take you, put you over there. Grab the grill. Can't move the grill. Oh, it's because it's got stuff in it. All right, fair enough. We'll take all that out. Oh, look at all that charcoal, man. We're going to make some gunpowder. Gunpowder. I love me some bullets. All right, so right in here. Okay. So I think we're going to put this one like so. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, yep. All right, let's kind of get it down there. Oh, I forgot it does that. Yeah, whatever side you put it on, it just goes to the side it wants to be on. What a piece of... What a garbage. What a garbage. All right, well, whatever. Let's get this in there. I'm debating finishing this uh, next video. I mean, I, I could. People always yell at me because I don't finish stuff, so it might be good to finish it. Why can't I... It's not rotating. Okay, let's try again. Not rotating. Son of a biscuits. I'm going to have to restart the game. Uh, I hate it when that happens. One more time. Damn it! I'm going to shoot you dead! That is not perfectly lined up. Yeah, so restarting the game fixed it. I thought it would. Can I get over it? It looks pretty lined up, but not perfect. And I want it to be perfect. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. So there we go with that. Um, I think next video I'm gonna I'm gonna move everything in here, build some tables and everything. I'll, pro I'll probably build this thing out next video. I think that would be wonderful. Uh, all right. Um, I'm thinking about taking this out, moving this uh, fence over to here, and then maybe building a fence from here over to here. That's gonna be a lot of fencing. The cool thing about this fencing though is you get it all back, but it would really extend the fence out quite a bit, which would be nice. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't want to do that right now. Um, I mean, I have enough stuff to do it, but yeah, that, that would be a, that would be a lot of unnecessary fencing. I think I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Should we build this? Yeah, let's build this. All right, so we're gonna need a hammer and a saw. I'm I'm curious on if that one's gonna work out or not. Um, basically, what you gotta do is you wanna save the game, and then you build it. And if it works out, great. And if not, you just reload the game. So, oh, I didn't get the saw. I went and got wood. I need a saw. I grab a bunch of wood. Okay, that's, yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's just the way I roll sometimes. I need I need a saw and I grab, I grab the wood. All right. Wow, that's starting to get, um, oh, is that, uh, that's, um, yeah, I want to take that, that, that. Yeah, that'll work. Let's go throw these in the, uh, in the old smelter, smeltery, the time being. Actually, what is that thing called? I think it's called the smeltery, right? I don't remember. Let's see. Furnace. Okay, close, but not really. <laughs> it was kind of close, but not really close at all. <clears throat> we need more bronze or brass, whatever the hell it is. All right. Uh, what do we need here? Oh, we're gonna need more logs and more wood and more nails. Okay. Well, thank God Scott is a is a tree chopping maniac. There we go. Let's grab this. What is magical powers? <laughs> it's so funny. You cut it all down from the inside. All right. We should be just about ready to finish this. Man, just in time for OBS to crash. It freaking crashed on me like twice. Caused me all kinds of headaches. Where did I put my nails? Did I use all my nails? There's no way I used all those nails. Boy, I hope I didn't throw them on the floor. The one thing you don't want to do with nails is throw them on the floor. That is the worst. I almost don't even want to look for them. Like, now I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I used up all my nails because I wouldn't have thrown them on the floor. Although, what's the, what, are the, what are the odds I actually had the perfect amount of nails, though, for that thing? Yeah, that's probably not accurate. All right, well, I'm not going to bother looking for nails because to hell with that. I ain't got time for that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to make some more. And I think you need components, too, right? Yeah. I mean, we're going to need a lot of nails anyway. We're going to need freaking buttload of nails. Uh, the, problem is I'm, the problem is the nails are probably right in front of my face and I'm missing them. And I'm going to pre-apologize to you guys in the comment section because I know that drives you nuts. So, sorry. <laughs> All right, 32 will be plenty. I mean, like I said, we're gonna need, I think like 20 something nails per wall. We're gonna need like hundreds and hundreds of nails, no doubt. So, it's not like we're gonna be like making nails for no reason. 
Um, just not any real reason right now. Oh, I saved the game too, so, you know, let's do this. I'll have to break this down. Probably maybe even lose some logs out of it, but that's okay. That is okay. Oh, let's go get, let's go get the uh, wood. Yeah, I really, I used all that, all those planks. Hmm. All right, well, I got planks for days, people. See, I don't, I hate the way that's going through the wall, but I don't know of any other better way to do it, so. I mean, I could use regular fencing, but I don't like regular fencing on the, on the perimeter of my wall. I want the perimeter of my wall to be proper, proper big walls. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter at all in the game. The, um, the, the regular fencing is 100% fine and will, will stop anything. Um, I, just from a purely immersional standpoint, I don't like, you know, um, no, that's fine. I can live with that. Um, because just purely immersion, I like to have big, big walls uh, surrounding the base. Absolutely not needed. Totally understandable. Don't care. <laughs> All right. Actually, that came out pretty good. I may have been able to put it a little bit more in this direction, but I don't think I care enough to redo it. Although I won't be, I won't be in this this building often. So I don't know. Maybe I should. Go, maybe I should redo it. I don't know. I'll make that decision before next video. Anyway, guys, if you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. And yes, I will make this decision next time. Um, I know I, I'm going to save the game right now. I probably won't redo it, but if I do, I'll just break the wall and I'll take the loss. Uh, I'll probably get like 50% of the materials back um, if I decide to break that down and redo it. But that's going to have to wait for next time because I got someone waiting to design emblems or, you know, um, what's what I'm, emblems or like pictures for t-shirts that I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be setting up to go on sale soon. So I got to get out of here and go design some t-shirts, guys. <laughs> All right. I'll see you next time.